What are you doing over there? Come back over here. Come back over here. But you don't need anything over there. guys this is the true I woke up like this like I still have um, acne medicine <laughs> on my face is broken out so bad it always happens like if I have something coming up like I know this is not like an event but for the first day of vlogmas my face broke out really bad so if there's something coming up that I'm like gonna be on camera or at an event yeah my de my face is definitely gonna break out so this morning I made cinnamon rolls and I forgot to show them to you, but the pan that I normally cook them in was dirty and I don't have another small pan. So I put them in the individual muffin tins and they got so tall, they they rose like this tall um, and they tasted really good, but we had really tall cinnamon rolls this morning. So I just filmed Mason crawling around and I don't know that this would ever come up or that anybody would ask. I know maybe a lot of my subscribers would like wonder, but they would be too nice to ask. And so I just wanted to address that um, Mason is 16 months old and he is not walking yet. In fact, he just started crawling. He has been in occupational therapy for several months now um, because he's delayed in his gross motor skills, the crawling and walking. He is just fine on everything else and, and there's nothing medically wrong with him, but Kaylee did the exact same thing. She crawled on time, but she had to do physical therapy for walking and she did not walk until 19 months old. So Mason's about to turn 16 months and I have a feeling he definitely will be 19 months before he walks as well. It's nothing I'm concerned about. We do the occupational therapy just to, you know, speed it along. But after going through it with Kaylee, I'm just not that worried. They just have their own time frame. There was nothing wrong with Kaylee either medically. So it must have been the first year of Vlogmas. Kaylee was riding a bicycle. It's It was a special type of tricycle that they use for physical therapy. And somebody asked if she was slow. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people that watch now, like I know a lot of you now, I don't think you would ever ask about him, but I thought I would just offer up just in case you were curious and you thought, you know, he seems to be crawling slowly or he's not walking yet. No, he's not walking yet, but he's perfectly happy and healthy and we are so proud of him that he just learned how to crawl. Like we have been working for months towards this, so we are really, really proud. You trying to pants her? <laughs> it's not very nice. What? What's wrong? Uh, the, 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 the coffee tastes yucky. <laughs> So I told you yesterday about my shoulder hurting. I can feel the knot in the front of my shoulder right here and I've just had about enough of it. So I just took two Advil and I'm about to rub this deep blue on there. Um, my mom gave me this and it expired earlier this year, but I think it'll still be okay. 
Army crawling. I'm uh, army crawling again. I'm just crawling. I'm uh, army crawling. <laughs> it's just an exercise. <laughs> so my Bath and Body Works order came in today, and I got this is the first time I've gotten these big wide candles. This one is in cinnamon stick. I feel like I've bought this one in the past, but it's been a while. It's a good, it's kind of a more sweet cinnamon. It's not very sweet, but it's more sweet than my all-time favorite, which is the cinnamon clove buds. I don't really like the packaging on this one this year, but it's the only packaging that it came in. So I got one of those. Then I got spiced gingerbread swirl without smelling it first. And it's really just not as gingerbready as I thought it would be. It's very... I don't know. I'm not a fan of this one. It has like a perfume type cinnamon to it. I mean, a perfume type gingerbread to it. Ginger snap cookie, cinnamon, and nutmeg, but that is not what it smells like to me at all. I was hoping for a true like spicy gingerbread, like exactly how a gingerbread would taste. So I'm not sure about this one. So I'm sitting in my closet just to get away from the noise of the kids playing, but um, I was just gonna come on here and say I'm sorry. I don't have much uh, footage from today. We didn't do much. We didn't go anywhere. Um, I didn't get dressed today, which is all true. But I kind of struggled with whether to like, you know, just blow it off and say that or tell you guys the truth. Um, and I don't think the truth can hurt anything. So um, ever since Mason has been born, I have struggled with anxiety from time to time. Um, and I kind of hate to say, oh, I have anxiety because I don't want to take away from people that actually have true crippling anxiety and they have it all the time and they constantly struggle. Um, I would definitely say that mine is very mild compared to that. I have it um, just out of the blue from time to time and I'm normally able to get over it within, you know, a couple days or so. So today was just one of those days last night it started creeping up on me today was full-blown feeling like i had anxiety and it's normally over something so insignificant and i know that i shouldn't have anxiety but from what i hear that's exactly how anxiety affects people nothing is really wrong nothing is crashing down around them but they still feel like it is so yeah it was something very insignificant that spurred it and it just kind of you know it just kind of spirals from there. Um, my anxiety, I feel like I have a pretty fast heart rate all day. I feel a pit in the middle of my stomach and I just, I kind of shut down. Like I don't get anything done. I'm not productive. Even when I have a mile long list of things to do, I don't get it done. Um, and that increases my anxiety when I don't get those things done that I should be doing. I don't feel as good when I don't get dressed and when I don't get fresh air. All of these things compound on each other and I know that it's it's not good but like I said I normally am able to snap out of it within a day or two. I was going to go to the gym tonight because that always helps. I mean I get out, I get fresh air, I get my heart pumping and you know and it's good for me, you know, it releases endorphins, but I couldn't bring myself to do it because of the anxiety. Um, but tomorrow, hopefully, I've got to take Haley to school. I'll be getting out of the house. We have some appointments. Um, I hope to go to the gym tomorrow, so hopefully I'll be able to snap out of it. But I just didn't think it would hurt anything to tell you exactly why I didn't film today. I think everybody has their days. Everybody has their issues, so I shouldn't be ashamed. I don't know why it started after Mason was born and I didn't have any issues before, but I know that pregnancy can do crazy things, hormones do crazy things, postpartum does crazy things, so it's just something I guess that I'm going to be dealing with. Because he's way over a year old now, I've already weaned him from breastfeeding, like I feel like my hormones are to the level that they're just going to be, so I don't know where the anxiety plays in. Like I said, it's nothing severe, I don't want to be like, oh I deal with anxiety because I don't want to take away from people that actually have a severe problem but it's definitely something I've noticed in my life um, in the past you know year and nine months 
so that's that it's been one of those days um, and so I didn't have much to film didn't want to film so I am just gonna go ahead and call it a night here we are still picking up and cleaning the house and I should be back in the swing of things tomorrow so thank you all for watching thank you all for understanding why it was a short vlog day but I'm sure that you all can relate in one way or another whether you have anxiety issues or not sometimes you just have down days it just happens to everybody so I hope that you all had a great start to your week and I will see you tomorrow bye Thank you.